in Larchmont, New York. Oh, in Larchmont, yeah, I used to know Larchmont. Paul Sweezy lives there. Paul Sweezy, the Marxist economist, yeah. Uh, he's a he's well known in Marxian circles. In Marxian circles, I'm yeah, not. Larchmont and Marinac. Right yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful part. You're in between them. You know. No, I'm in Larchmont. Yeah, but you come into New York City and also. I'm in between Greenwich and New York, which is perfect. Right. Welcome, welcome very much to Conversations, where it's a pleasure to welcome to the program Nassim Nicholas Taleb. And this is his book we want to show right at the outside, and it's called Fooled by Randomness. And the subtitle is, Tali, I mean, the, nothing? The Hidden Role of Chance in the Markets and the Life. Big subject. And Very he's large. also the founder, if I may, of the, um, of the um, Empirica, Ca Empirica Capital LLC. Uh, I guess it's a hedge fund that's located up in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. And Nassim, welcome very, very much to Conversations. Thank you. I wonder, we want to talk about a lot of things because uh, randomness is a big word and so forth. But I wonder, maybe you could share your own background, if you could, a little bit in a brief bi biographical kind of way. And then we could get into talking about some of the major okay. items that you're talking about in this book. Okay. Uh, one thing I have to add is that I also teach uh, in the math department at New York University. Okay. Related to randomness. Right. Um, and everything I do is almost directly related to probability, randomness, luck, chance, uh -huh. either in the study of that uh, subject or in the practice of that subject. I see. So okay. I, right. I consider myself uh, a practitioner of uncertainty. I someone see. who practices uncertainty, decision making when you have um, choices to make yeah. in an uncertain world. I see. Yeah. So okay. my yeah. background is it all started when I was a Wharton student mm -hmm. and uh, I was, you know, quite young for to be a Wharton student. Mm -hmm. And I suddenly discovered that I could make a living mm -hmm. out of people misunderstanding of randomness I see. and overstatement of order. This is when you were at Wharton? When I was at Wharton. Yeah, at the student. University of Pennsylvania, yes. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I was Wharton. It all started there mm -hmm. in a class on uh, uh, financial derivatives where mm -hmm. I looked at, you know, the, the board and then suddenly it came as a flash. Like an epiphany, huh? An epiphany yeah. that I could make a living out of it. Out that of what I now? Out, out of what? Of out of taking advantage mm -hmm. of people's misunderstanding of randomness. Uh-huh. And since then, I've done nothing else. I'll be later on, I got involved in the math of derivatives, mm -hmm. all the way to getting a doctorate later. Uh -huh. And I've been a trader since that day. Mm -hmm. I've done nothing except study the philosophy of uh, probability, the mathematics of probability, uh -huh. um, a related subject like yeah. uh, financial instruments and derivatives yeah. and financial engineering related yeah. to derivatives. Uh -huh. I started as a trader on Wall Street in the heyday of, uh, you know, the, the, the big revolution of Wall Street yeah. in uh, the 80s. Mm -hmm. And I uh, left uh, Wall Street. I went off and on you know, between Wall Street and then finishing a doctorate and coming back. And I left Wall Street uh, after the Russian crisis in 1998 yeah. to start my own firm. I see. And that's Perica the Capital, Perica, yeah. Uh -huh. Perica Capital. Uh -huh. And uh, I joined uh, as a, you know, part-time faculty at mm -hmm. uh, New York University. Yes. Uh, where I do my some of my research and I uh, teach a class on uh, uh, financial instruments related to taking advantage of misunderstanding of randomness. We call them derivatives. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, and and I uh, and I write books. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. The subject. This and hold forth third, at yeah. the Odeon, I think. Is it you go to the Odeon oh Coffee yeah, House. Oh yeah, the Odeon. Yeah. No, no, there you get together and they they expect you on a regular basis. Right? Exactly. Yeah, the, yeah. The problem That's where the, the real teaching takes place, right? Yeah, but mm -hmm. the problem is that the the waiter who used yeah. to uh, yeah. uh, left, and I haven't seen him. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, so which lowered, you know, when you the, the key in restaurants is not to go to a restaurant based on Zegat or yeah, some. Yeah. So yeah. This is where you know the waiter. Yeah, right. You know where right, the waiter is right. going to take care of right, you. Right, right, right. He disappeared. Uh oh. So since Random. then, I would yeah. say yeah. I would say that our assiduity yeah. in going to the audience has mm. decreased. Uh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, uh, but but we uh, you know I, I we have like sort of circle of uh, yeah. traders in New yeah. York who are sort of traders philosophers and yeah. we talk about the subject. Yeah yeah yeah. And you have a background. You're from the Levant, no? I yeah, mean I'm your 11, family. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. eleven teen, but eleven teen with the thing is a minority. I'm Greek Orthodox from yeah. the Levant. So uh -huh. eleven teen, you know, very fuzzy uh, definition before that nation would be state. Syria or well, yeah. greater uh, nation before. I mean, let's not get into the nation states, but. Mm. Uh, 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 before the formation of nation states, yeah. you, know, you can call yourself a Levantine. Uh, uh, I see. Uh, I uh, see. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Greek Orthodox. Yeah. Basically, the, the, the nation state is something very modern. It starts fragmenting the area. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and we had been hanging around, uh, you know, 
from the Arab invasion of yeah. the area, and, and since then been migrations. So the mm. population of these Levantines has yeah. been decreasing yeah. uh, uh, immensely. Yeah. So I studied also in France mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. that. I went actually to French high school, so my culture is, is, is sort of a mixture of uh, yeah. French and American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and I uh, reside in Larchmont, New York. So yeah. that's pretty much the information. So that's that's in thumbnail. That's the right? thumbnail, that's a thumbnail thing. thing. Yeah. Now I wonder, you're getting back. You seem to have had a thing uh, for probability theory, I guess. Right? Yeah, no. Maybe what, you what can spell what that out for the okay, general audience. What are we talking about? when we talk okay. about w probability. When you're talking about uh, probability, it's, it's both the computation, learning to compute the odds, mm -hmm. say uh, in gambling where you have 50-50 uh, odds, or in uh, uh, a lot of areas where you are facing uh, uh, a, uh, a choice of, of, of making a bet of a dollar for, for this uh, uh, outcome, mm -hmm. or, or $2 against the end outcome. Or, or mm -hmm. or uh, so this is, uh, uh, th you see it there. You also see it in, um, in medical choices, mm -hmm. where you go to the doctor and tell him, what my odds? And he'll tell you, well, I think you have 10% odds of uh, uh, not making it, 20% uh, uh, odds of making it, but you're going to be sort of crippled, and, and you have 70% uh, odds of surviving. Right, okay, so right. this is uh, one way you see it in medicine. It is now at the core of modern economics. Yes, it okay, is. Uh -huh. Economics, uh, uncertainty is, is, is becoming uh, uh, prevalent in economics. Oh, yeah. Uncertainty and probability, uh, uh, they're in the same bailiwick. Probability. I mean, they sound different, but, you know, I mean. They're exactly the same thing. Okay, probability okay. is, mm -hmm. is uh, uncertainty is in the sense that you would not have probability, all right? You would not have probability if you lived in a certain world. Uh -huh. If you live in a certain world, it would be certain, you know, you say probability, it would be 100% probability or 0% yeah. probability. When you have uncertainty is when you have odds of things happening and odds of these things not happening. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay. Probability, you could say that uh, people will say, are there intelligent forms of life out in the universe that we've not yeah. had contact with? Well, probability theory would say that it is likely or not likely. Not a probability thing. theory is, I mean, uh, the, the, uh, uh, probabilistic view of things yeah. is saying that this, you have the odds of an event taking place. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. probability, you say, okay, what is the probability of, of my winning uh, uh, you know, at a dice, if I throw it, uh, well, you have one and six yeah. probability of, ma of winning and mm -hmm. five and six of not winning. So mm -hmm. the, the relation is uh, probably is more of a way of quantifying uncertainty. Right. Uh, there are a lot of word luck mm -hmm. also. I mean, if, yeah. if the word was were certain, you would not have luck. You would mm -hmm. have just, okay, uh, everything would be described. An outcome, yeah. A, a, an outcome. Uh, uh, you have luck, you have uh, uh, chance, mm -hmm. uh, you have... Uh, Monad wrote a book, Chance and Necessity, I think. Yes, I, yeah, where, right. where, where it started entering biology, where people yeah. started understanding yeah. that, that yeah. evolution is at the core of evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the, the, the important thing about probability mm -hmm. is, uh, and that is one of the admirable developments uh, of, of, uh, of the, 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 the 20th century, is when we hit the 20th century, mm -hmm. uh, people were not trained to think in uh, alternative outcomes, mm -hmm. and, 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 and uh, they were dealing with very uh, uh, straight, what we call deterministic equations, yeah. in the yeah. sense that uh, this causes that, yeah. um, this is the reason, this is the outcome, yeah. okay. and suddenly with the complexity of science, yeah. it started entering mostly all disciplines. Yeah. I mean, biology uh, visibly uh, has a large share of probability. Yeah. Uh, uh, since the the the, the twi since we discovered quantum mechanics, it yeah. entered physics. Yeah. Uh, it shocked Einstein. Yeah. 1905. Uh, no, Einstein used some probabilistic mm. methods in his 1905 mm. paper, yeah. uh, and and I actually he was a believer in probability, but he deep down, when you had quantum theory showing that there is uncertainty in in the world that we yeah. cannot really uh, can never cap capture as yeah. it doesn't come from the fact that we don't know the model. It comes from the fact that there is a core uncertainty to the world. Einstein did not buy the that's argument. He said, yeah. he said yeah. that the God did not play dice. Yeah. Oh, so that's right. That's so I'm right. saying biology, yeah. Yeah, physics. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then you had a nascent uh, uh, a field called statistics that yeah. developed. Yeah. And statistics is for us a, a, a method to have a, a good hold over probability. Right. Uh, probability entered economics mm -hmm. because people said, well, supply and demand. You have yeah, a supply yeah. curve. This is where they cross. No, yeah. not re in reality mm -hmm. because prices change. Mm -hmm. If prices change, it means that the, 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 the equations can't be that simple, yeah. okay? Right, right. Or that you have something else that you don't know that changes prices, yeah. okay? Besides supply and demand, mm -hmm. and, and, and that you're living in a dynamic world, mm -hmm. you have to take into account of uncertainty. So it started entering disciplines yeah. one by one. Yeah, right, and, and it's all interrelated. 
I mean, uh, reality, reality is a seamless web, the Buddhists have told it, us. It's all interrelated. But, but mm. the core of my work, to go yeah. back to my work, mm. the core of my work is identifying biases in our understanding of probability. And then taking advantage. And taking advantage of it. By being aware of that. By, by making money out mm -hmm. of uh, people, which we, <laughs> uh, you know, which I'm not just talking about myself, I'm mm -hmm. talking about a class of experts mm -hmm. who do that. The casino takes advantage of the gambler's yeah. misunderstanding well, of the odds. You think or perhaps or it's, it's, a just a, it's just a, it's just a house uh, take off the top. Well, they okay, get, we I have think, two things. First of all, no gamblers mm. would walk into a casino mm -hmm. thinking, okay, mm -hmm. that he's going to lose. Mm. Okay, they all oh. have this hope blinding That's right. them. That, 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 that. So either same they with are the markets, so consciously, mm -hmm. same with the market. Mm -hmm. Either they are consciously, mm -hmm. all right, accepting the fact, mm -hmm. okay, that the odds are against them, but they think that they are chosen by destiny. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. to yeah. win. Yeah. So this is one mm -hmm. one one important thing that you see in gambling. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, or they ha they're totally ignorant. They think they're going to go in and win yeah. because they heard of a cousin of them. Yeah. There's that who won uh, yeah. at that game. Mm -hmm. So th it is a, 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 a prevalent in our society for mm -hmm. people not to understand probability. Mm -hmm. But what we deal with is not something as simple as a roulette table, uh -huh, where uh -huh. you know the roulette table, you know, has uh, 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 36 holes. Yeah, I think, is that right? Yeah. Okay, double 36 holes, I think. Yeah, no, no, yeah, 36 holes plus uh, two. Yeah. Okay, zero, zero and double, double zero. zero. Okay, yeah. so the odds are you have 36 to 38. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have two for the casino. Uh, I see. Is that what that is? Yeah. I this is how they make through. their bet. Okay, I'm so the casino, through. so you have a pack with the casino. This is uh -huh. what I'm paying you. They give mm -hmm. you a free drink and make you gamble. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, 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 in, in, in reality, <coughs> in a lot of fields, you don't quite see the odds, mm -hmm. or people can hide the rules of the game from you. Mm -hmm. you, you, know, you and if you, if you request, you can go request mm -hmm. from the casino to show you what their odds are against yours. Mm -hmm. in, in the real world, you don't. So we have to chart that. Now, a lot of areas, and I'll get, get into that and, 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 uh, 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 at some point. Okay. After I, I finish uh, introducing, yeah, this is a good introduction. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yes. Tell me where you're coming uh, from. Uh, the, uh, the 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 lot of areas where people misunderstand probabilities. Okay. Yeah. And and because of the complexity of the the world currently. Yeah, unintended and the world consequences. And no, no. Uh, the yeah. world is getting to be more and more complex. Yeah. Okay. Things well. are getting worse. You think so? Okay. Yeah, I definitely think okay, so. Okay, Things okay. are getting worse. We'll get into the the, the, the okay. problem is that we are not designed genetically mm -hmm. for an environment that has so much complexity. We're, we 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 the human species. We the human species are yeah. designed mm -hmm. for pretty much the African savanna 160,000 years ago. Yeah, I would have said 200. Yeah, let's that say the difference is since then our DNA has barely changed. Yeah, right, okay. right, biologically. So yeah. you have to understand well, that we're fit. Some people argue that, you know, but anyway, yeah. Okay, Go we ahead. are fit mm. for an environment mm -hmm. that doesn't have a lot of information. No, it has a lot of leopards that we run away from. Probably, okay, so mm. we had, had, uh, okay, it doesn't have, the, you have to run mm. from, so you have to compute mm. the odds of surviving. Mm. So mm. we're fit for very simple probabilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are unable to understand the ones, okay, that we are facing on a day-to-day -day basis now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is mm -hmm. this divorce between us and 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 and, and the complexity of the world between yeah. our our genes uh, uh, makes it difficult, mm -hmm. okay, for a human being to live in this environment, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and stay completely rational, mm -hmm. okay. Now, I know mm. for myself that I spend my time studying the mathematics of probability. The mathematics of, prob of okay. probability. Uh -huh. But at the same time, when it comes to my own behavior, okay, it is not natural for me to act in accordance mm -hmm. with that mathematical sophistication. You have emotions and things or something. Sorry? Yeah. You have emotions or something that override no, I, I, your I'll decisions? I'll or your no, you have the, why don't the, you be like okay. Mr. Spock? Well, uh, 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 the yeah, I'll 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 explain. So it is. Uh, the, the the my my entire work mm -hmm. comes from the fact that I identify where we are weak in understanding probability. Mm -hmm. I try to design methods to take advantage of that, mm -hmm. and finally, all right, mm -hmm. I I I try to uh, uh, um, uh, give you know, uh, solutions to some problems, okay, in mm -hmm. that are compatible with our human genetics and the way we are 
the hardware that we live with every day. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. And then you, and you do that with your phone, you can put yourself in the With my phone, or myself. I mean, yeah. I, I, I tell you, I'm a weak person when it comes to uh, uh, acting under uncertainty, so we have computers dealing with it. Yeah. But on a daily basis, we have to live with tricks. Yeah. Uh, uh, not to do that. Anyway, so this is a general presentation yeah, of what I do for a living. Yeah, I wonder, so, yeah. so other than going to Odeon on Wednesday night at, uh, which is tonight, yeah. okay, yeah, at, when uh, at uh, coffee at the after the ten thirty, uh, at ten o'clock. Yeah, you'll 10 be there. Ten o'clock. Right, we your, leave. We intend on being there at nine o'clock at nine fifteen. You'll get there Takes us till ten. Yeah. You know, New York. Random walking along the road. Exactly. There you go. Right, right, right. And so you get down to real business. Exactly. Other than yeah. Exactly. So other than that, all right. Uh, other than that, uh, 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 this is what I uh, uh, what I do for a living. And you write a book every once in a while called Randomness. Uh, this, uh, is, this is by exactly. full this randomness. Is I mean, I wonder right. if you could like, uh, what you know, is there are there realms of certainty within which uh, which you could see ran uh, there, uh, there there are some realms of certainty within a certain mathematical. Is the universe random? I mean. Buckminster Fuller used to say that, that there's a synergistic pattern, and is there a pattern to the evolution of universal okay, consciousness? Uh, let me is there is there a synergy of the behavioral systems unpredicted by the sum of its parts? Okay, is there something more than the sum okay, of the parts of a system? Okay, let me continue. That is resonancy, and is the universe uncertain? Okay, let, let me let me go uh, continue in my, the, my first the, presentation of randomness entering science, okay. where we started realizing, mm -hmm. in in uh, the the 19th century, mm -hmm. we thought that uh, the universe was built like a clock mm -hmm. and then therefore of course which, you know tells you that uh, you can look at it both ways that a clock has a clockmaker therefore there is god or a clock no because you can track the equation that there is that no design god design questions being okay. brought up again i mean that the word okay that now. was laplacian uh, dynamics yeah. all right mm -hmm. Newton newtonian mechanics mm -hmm. the, the way of viewing the world by saying mm -hmm. we can figure out the equations and then with certainty because we we got very very uh, science got very uh, uh, arrogant yes, after figuring out yeah. that you can predict uh, the, the movement of planets and the eclipses and all that stuff mm -hmm. okay so and then suddenly entered quantum mechanics mm -hmm. on one hand yeah well the whole modernist uh, yeah menu huh. okay the, and, and then and and the starting and then the elevation of, of, of what we, that we had subatomic world that mm -hmm. did beat our conventional right, wisdom. There's nothing. If there's nothing there. You get in there. There's nothing there but resonance. That's the super strings. There's but nothing okay, but no, resonance the, the, between the, systems. Super string. I mean, it's mm -hmm. so. The, but the, the, mm -hmm. the idea is uh, two things. Either there's pure randomness out there, mm -hmm. or there are things that our intelligence cannot describe. Well, the second because law. we can't. We can't. Our conventional wisdom is not built. Okay. To deal is with it. Like we're fit for the mm -hmm. Newtonian mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Okay. To see things. At the not at a quantum level, but mm -hmm. but but at, uh, at, at above the quantum level, the uh, uh, our understanding of the world does not have the wealth of vocabulary, mm -hmm. okay, or okay, to describe these effects that take place below. But one of the core things in there is that there is, is unpredictability of the system. Well, the, the 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 second law of thermodynamics is all systems move toward chaos to the limits of the system. That's okay, the second the, uh, law I of will, thermodynamics. Okay, I, I would like to t talk and chaos. The word chaos is, uh, first of all, I would not use the word chaos immediately. You would not use the word chaos No, because chaos, um, chaos... And, random. And, uh, no, because the problem with chaos, chaos theory, is, is often misunderstood in the press everywhere to mean an increase in randomness, where in fact chaos right. is when you have something that looks very random, that is generated by a very simple, non-random deterministic equation. This well, is you, chaos. You, you, it's, it's but let me, go back, uh, uh, let me go back to the second law, law of thermodynamics. thermodynamics. I mean, second law of thermodynamics is at the core of understanding of randomness for yeah. one reason. Yeah. Uh, uh, is R equal? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, is what we use the entropy. Okay, mm -hmm. you have gains of entropy in a world. Right, okay. that's and entropy. Uh, no, entropy. The beauty of entropy mm -hmm. is it has it can be interpreted as three meanings. Has mm -hmm. three meanings. Ah, so the first one mm -hmm. is entropy is uh, 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 the, the, the tendency of systems to move toward chaos. Oh, okay. no, no, not to go to chaos. Is, is that an increase? Well, an chaos increase, is you have an increase. Okay, you have an or increase of disorder. Yeah. You have an increase in disorder, disorder. in the system. Okay, right. you have a release of energy. You can say that, that seems everything to be is conserved. In universe. Yeah. Yes, see, everything is conserved, but entropy uh, increases. But that's, well, that's, that's the first, first law. That's, that's the first conservation of energy. That's the first yeah, law. Yeah, no, no, but the, s the second law yeah. tells you that you have All an increase in entropy. Yeah, that's right. You have right. conservation of energy while increase in entropy. Yeah, that's now, right. entropy, if you can explain it mm -hmm. as an energy... Uh, uh, um, A tendency. It, okay, entropy means energy, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, entropy also means disorder. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Entropy also means randomness, mm -hmm. increasing okay. randomness. So okay. Those are but terms entropy that also can mm -hmm. lead you to understand the arrow of time. Mm -hmm. If you see uh, the, what? Uh, the the arrow of time. Arrow of, of time. time. Yeah, time. because definitely in physics, time does not have a very uh, um, a, 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 a common sense definition. It has a more of a scientific definition, which mm -hmm. defies common sense, and. You can say that as the world is increasing in entropy, the, the a universe. reversal, the uh, universe, a reversal of the arrow of time, mm -hmm. is going to become uh, 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 less likely. Well, Buckminster Fuller, who was a comprehensivist, he said that the second law of thermodynamics. And he looked about, he cast about, as it were, from a comprehensive yes, reading yes, of the universe and so forth. And he looked, and he saw the whole biological evolutionary process on this third planet as yeah. being a anti-entropic synergistic function okay. in the universe, the biological evolutionary, moved across entropy and brought increased patterns of conscious understanding to the process of which we are a part. Okay. He came to call it, he called it, he came to call it, he called it synergistic anti-entropic function, biology itself, and he called it syntropic. It was I, a syntropic I, 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 I'm not aware, I'm not, oh. I'm, I'm not aware of it, but I let me, let me come back. I randomness with the idea okay, of synergy, the, the which is the behavior of systems unpredicted by the sum of its parts. There's a resonancy more than okay, the sum yeah, of the parts. Okay, yeah, no, no, in, 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 in synergy, I mean, definitely, the, the, it's, it's a concept that... And that, that is, was a term that, that wasn't used. He would talk to 5,000 people in an audience of 2,000. He said, anybody heard of the term synergy? Everybody heard of energy? Nobody had heard of synergy. Uh, no, now synergy it's on every ad agency sub -addit A super additive, uh, super additive uh, measure. Well, but let me come no, back to... it's the behavior of systems yes. unpredicted by the sum of its parts. Okay. It sounds a little bit like random. Okay, or but let me let me come back to entropy so, so I can All continue. Right. Okay, mm. I have not used the word entropy in my book. No, I noticed. Except uh, uh, b because I, I was trying to avoid it. My next book mm -hmm. was switching from uh, probability mm -hmm. to entropy, I which see. is degree of randomness or degree of disorder mm -hmm. to, to, to all mean the same. Mm -hmm. But let me come back and equate why energy, information, and entropy okay. are, are one and the same thing. All right. Uh, you understand the link between information and energy, yeah. okay, is that you need a phone, uh, if you want to get information, mm -hmm. right, you need to call someone, you pay your phone bill. Yeah. That's Stephen Hawking. Yeah, uh, right. Analogy, yeah. All right. He, that's, that's he has the way a new he book can, on that. Yeah, in, in, in he, uh, that's how, <laughs> how he, uh, um, he uh, equates one, because intellectually, mm -hmm. the, the, it, it's hard, once you get into entropy, then you start understanding it, but it takes a while for this concept to sink in. Mm -hmm. okay. The second point, how do you move from uh, information to randomness, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. is uh, simple. Mm -hmm. Think that the more information you have, mm -hmm. the more choices. Uh, okay. Possible oh, choices. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. that's right. Or also, uh, they have a term, if I may, uh, yes. they have an, in cybernetic um, language, they have a term, or Norbert Wiener said, you have, you have a, within a system, you have information overload. Yes. Information over, you get information overload, permits pattern recognition at a level transcendent to the system which is being overloaded. Yeah, so we'll get, into pattern. We'll get pattern. into pattern. Pattern recognition is a particularly unique capability that human fa mental faculties have and yes. should be, a, a, you know, be able to be at a higher level taking in more information. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get into patterns in a minute. Which the information overload within the system allowed at another okay. higher level of understanding. Okay, we'll get into patterns oh. in a minute because, okay. because sort of it, 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 uh, it, uh, it's, uh, you're right. I mean, mm -hmm. you have, we have to talk about chaos and patterns. These mm -hmm. are the two things we should, we should talk to. Mm -hmm. But the... Uh, um, uh, uh, is key. Mm. Okay. W now, when you look at randomness, mm. okay, in, in in realizing that you live in a complex environment. Oh boy, don't okay, we? Where you both have a lot of choices. Mm -hmm. Okay, to make increasing. But you only see one realization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah. only see one outcome. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Exposed history is only one history. Yeah. But that you observe. Mm -hmm. Okay, physicists may tell you, you may have, some physicists may tell you, th there's more than one history, mm -hmm. but there's only one that you observe. Yeah. And once you start analyzing the world in a probabilistic fashion. In a what fashion? Probabilistic fashion. Oh, I see, probabilistic. probabilistic that's a great fashion. sounding okay. word, that's poetic. Probabilistic. Yes, yes because probabilistic. that's probabilistic. great, I like that You term. start uh. looking at things mm -hmm. with a different uh, 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 mindset. I see and let me give that. you the example. Please. In my book here, mm -hmm. You have a gentleman mm -hmm. who uh, engages in the extremely rigorous, not too entertaining, I have to admit, Trader? practice of dentistry. Oh, right? dentistry. So oh, he goes yeah, and has yeah. ladies uh, and, and, and gentlemen yeah. opening their teeth for him and the, he yes, drills. Yes. And his life, you know, is going to be very predictable. Mm -hmm. Every day is going to look like the other. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. see, it's yeah. going to be... Yeah. Uh, um, mm. okay. Now, yeah. that person does not have a high 
uh, uh, tolerance? Or? No, no, a yeah. high dependence uh -huh. in his life on randomness. Uh, I see, right. In fact, okay. he'd rather eschew it if he could. Yeah, okay, this, yeah. is, part, this is part why we know dentists, dentists trade a lot. I mean, every time I go to my dentist, okay, he wants to talk about the market. No, really? Is that a yes. fact? That's interesting. So That's is, uh, closet traders, huh? They're all. I mean, yeah, they, okay. provide, they, provide, they provide... The uh, traders are sort of like gambling or sort of like yeah, right, I mean, I mean yeah, if right, yeah. instead of going to Las Vegas, you can yeah. call your broker. Yeah, so it's a very convenient way of gambling. It's been called a big crapshoot, the whole market. Definitely. Okay. So, so going back to this framework mm. of a gentleman whose life has a very low dependence on randomness, yeah. and then you compare it to a second gentleman, mm -hmm. and that gentleman engages in Russian roulette. Yes, right. Okay. <laughs> now, yes, yeah. when you engage in Russian roulette, Rather, yeah. you have mm. five chances out of six. Because that's a game where you spin the barrel of the okay. rifle thing okay. and put the pistol to your head. Exactly. Yeah. So to describe it, you have a barrel, you spin, yeah. and then you yeah. have one bullet. Yeah. And if you Five. get the bullet, uh, I'm sorry, you're going to have you a funeral, yes, but, uh, right, but right. you usually have to yeah. organize your funeral before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if fi you have you have five uh, 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 non-bullets, yeah. right? So you have five chances out of six of uh, 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 making it. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and you know, which <laughs> is always very pleasant. You probably pleasant. didn't plan very well for the funeral. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you, you have five chances it. out of six of making mm -hmm. it. Then you make a million dollars. Yeah, say. Uh, okay. Yeah, now, yeah. Mm -hmm. this gentleman on the, on the right mm. okay uh, uh, is going to uh, uh, have a high randomness content in his profession right okay yeah. now when you observe him mm -hmm. from the outside mm -hmm. you do not see the difference mm -hmm. oh yes i see because okay, it's see a both human them, organism yeah no no you no. see oh. both all you see is is two prosperous people yeah leaving their building after mm -hmm. a day of work uh -huh. in case number one the person drilled teeth all day long yes in case number two, the person played <laughs> Russian roulette. Yeah. You see? And they're both walking so down the street. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the way, in, in, my, in, in mm -hmm. my book, the way I frame it mm -hmm. is as a, uh, 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 is in, you have, have to look probabilistically yeah. at the money generated mm -hmm. by, by the activity. By the activity. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and, and visibly, uh, uh, the dentist, if he had to mm -hmm. do it again, yeah, okay, uh -huh. he, if day number two would resemble day number one uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, the, 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 the Russian roulette person, yeah, yeah. if he had to do it again, mm -hmm. day number two mm. may not resemble day number one I with see, yeah. very severe consequences. Yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, 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 it's interesting like that. that that's interesting to do. So what you're, you're meeting, how, how, I mean, there must be a certain degree in which you can get, you can get, um, you know, within certain mathematical formulas, you can get certain, there, uh, there is certainty, there is uncertainty in the sense of the First structure of, of the universe, but there are certainties that can be got into what degree does the, uh, the techniques and probabilistic theory and so forth let us be able to get a better handle on certainty or uh, as, as it does exist in human affairs. Okay. Uh, I, th the first thing is let's not, I mean, without having to go that far, mm. you can already mm -hmm. start saying that money generated from the stock market All right. Okay, depends on luck. Luck. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, on, yeah. on luck mm -hmm. is, I said, is, is our equivalent. Luck, Dame chance, yeah. uh, randomness, probability, mm -hmm. all that are the same concept. Yeah, luck, yeah. luck is having had a, a, a random outcome that is favorable. Bad luck is mm -hmm. having. Okay. So. But you can money you can, money generated yeah. money generated from the stock market. Mm -hmm. Okay, has a high dependence on luck. Okay. Okay, as compared to money generated. Through, as we know, Industry. that activity of drilling teeth. Yes, correct? right. So right, if you right. drill teeth for a living, you're mm -hmm. gonna see 50 teeth, uh, there, whatever it is. Yeah, right, right. 50, uh, okay, and and that's a very uh, 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 deterministic, okay, outcome. But that's the other one. So well, uh, if you start ranking and separating these two, mm -hmm. if you start looking at luck mm -hmm. in people's activities, mm -hmm. you may have a different view mm -hmm. of of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is central, okay, in the way yeah. I view things, uh -huh. okay, yeah. via this ranking. But can't can't you? Yes. I mean, it's just a layman's question, that sort of thing. But can't yeah. can't you, uh, you know, set the odds in your favor by educating yourself and so forth? You become educated and you turn a luck to your. I mean, luck is a random, a totally random thing. But if you educate yourself, you got a better chance yeah, of can, coming out with a successful thing no, well, and getting coming and out. Well, the two things. You know, and, and then all, using new information technologies yeah. and different kinds of things that are there, you can put the odds better in okay. your favor. H Harold, Obviously, the first you must, thing yeah. you need to do is understanding the existence of luck and things right. where you may not see them. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, oh, it's being right. that, So that's the first thing, is mm. understanding that there is. So my, if I take my, my book, I have a table, let's yeah. say, table of confusion, yeah. right? Table of confusion. No, this is what you confuse. Table of confusion. The dentist, you're confusing for the rest yeah, of the life person. Yeah. Okay, so here I have luck, mm -hmm. confused for skills. Yeah, I should think. Randomness, people. confused for determinism. Right. Probability, confused for certainty. Right. Okay, theory for reality. Mm -hmm. Forecast for prophecy. Uh-huh. Uh, and these concepts get all mixed okay. up. Okay. In, 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 in market performance, mm -hmm. you have the lucky idiot mm -hmm. versus a skilled investor by looking at their checking account, mm -hmm. at the size of their house, mm -hmm. at their ego, mm -hmm. at uh, the, the cars. Mm -hmm. You won't tell the difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we have to, when you have an uncertain world, you've got to go look at what goes into the generator mm -hmm. of one's activities. Yeah. If the person is an investor, you want to see the strategy. Okay. Now I continue. In uh, in uh, physics, you have mm. something called noise yeah. versus signal. Signal, signal. Or, okay. Noise, yeah. In uh, in philosophy of science, we have something called epistemic probability mm -hmm. versus physical probability. I won't get too technical there. Uh. In, uh, in 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 what well, the thing is something that is called literary criticism. There's none because they seem not to have a name for mm. things they don't understand. Uh -huh. And simple. Okay. Uh. So now I'll tell you, we separate activities left or right. Yeah. Left to the left, you have the things that we don't quite understand, yeah. okay, yeah. because well, we have lack of knowledge, yeah. right, mm -hmm. about the outcome, mm -hmm. and to the right you have what you know mm -hmm. with certainty, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Now the problem comes from confusing, mixing, confusing. mixing yeah. luck for skills. Yeah. Well, okay. if somebody gets lucky, there. If somebody gets a lucky break, they're likely to want to chalk it up to their skill. Uh, there we go. Yeah. This is yeah, that. So, so the topic. So we continue. Yeah, yeah. This mm -hmm. is the topic. Yeah. Is, is that mm -hmm. it's very frequent mm -hmm. to see someone explain failures by bad luck. Yeah. Or uh, success. Deep, no deep success down, is success by success. Success by, by, by success. skills. Yeah. And they're going to write their biography and explain to you mm -hmm. the link between things. Yeah. Yeah. So I generalize it, and I get a little more technical through so the chapters. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By by showing that if you were to be rigorous, mm -hmm. okay, it's, there are very few things you can accurately explain. Mm -hmm. Okay, like uh, uh, when you hear, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know if you turn on the news uh, and, and you heard about All stock the market. Time. Okay, no, the stock I market. All right, you hear the stock market down two points. Yeah. Okay. The Dow you're going to have Dow Jones. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have explanations. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, they will explain. They're going to the give an explanation. The Mr. Greenspan's going to come they're out with a new find thing some or something. Yeah, yeah they're going to give explanation. For that. Right, right. Always reason mm -hmm. for things. When 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 is very rarely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very rarely you can assign a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but but people are paid. Mm -hmm. Okay. To give reasons. Yeah. So sure. And you have to resist not trying to explain. Yeah. Things that. We know come from the left column, what yeah. I said, the unknown, yeah. versus the right column. Mm -hmm. But if I see a, a, a person dying of cancer, mm -hmm. well, visibly, you know the reason. Yeah, yeah. So this wedge between the two is increasing mm -hmm. as we have more entropy. Mm -hmm. Because the more complexity you have in the world, the more entropy you have. Well, you think so. Uh, we have more entropy in the world. Now, entropy, I have a different term yeah. for that. I mean, uh, randomness. and. In a it is entropy is, is an increase of information or of available information in a system. I don't uh, and see it goes one way as increase of information. Well, I, I, I see the entropy as being a, a tendency to move toward chaos. I use the term chaos. I think that's I would not use the term. No, it's a dictionary chaos. definition, I think. It, well, a tendency well, the, to move toward chaos technically the limits science, of the system within a closed system. In science. And then no. there's a countervailing force in that. And I came back to that idea that there is, it's not just everything moving toward that. There's a countervailing force, which is the biological process itself, or the, the, okay. the drama of uh, things that are developing as far as we know in universe. Okay. We don't have other instances of intelligence from other parts of the universe yet, do we? I mean, probability I mean, I, theory I, I tells us we are, but there is this biological process and consciousness development and, and so forth, and that's a countervailing force to entropy. I mean, that's the way I see entropy. I mean, you could have decrease in entropy. If I, uh, uh, if the universe is, an, is uh, moving If I throw everything on the floor here, okay, I increase entropy. Yeah. I can reverse it or locally. Or the universe in, in its no, evolution. No, no, I can reverse and it. there's a lot of chaos Hold in on. the universe. I can reverse it locally. I can yeah. reverse entropy on this table locally. And that's okay. what our biological evolutionary no, process okay, but, is. But when you have more and more information, it's hard to reverse all the entropy that happened in, uh, in the world at this stage. This would, I mean, this is, th the person mm. who talks most yeah. about it is Hawking. Yeah, okay, it's Hawking. sort of yeah, an obsession yeah. for him yeah. to explain arrow of time with entropy. Yeah. And then you can see 
and he explained it very well that it's like a cone. The universe is like a cone of information. Yeah. That the further out we are, yeah. the more the lower the probability yeah. of time's arrow reversing. And you like Dawkins but too, don't you? The self regime. Dawkins yeah. is is yeah. my master in yeah. thinking. Yeah. Right. A lot of a lot of things. And come back to to, to I Dawkins. I heard a guy came up with a thing where you take the self regime, he takes the. Uh, the, the 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 Android meme, you know, he sees the whole the whole system mechanistically okay. going let like me, a meme okay. because he used every me, meme, okay. right? Let I me mean. come back. I, I come back to the gene uh, to, mm. to, to to Dawkins because mm. Dawkins is sort of central and in, in, in not necessarily because I'm interested in biology, but yeah. central because he taught me how to make causal relationship yeah. stand on their head. Yeah, like the and you use that term meme. Gene. It's sort of like a sociological genetic tendency or something like that. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll I'll get to that. Now, now go in. I was I was explaining the left column, right column confusion. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to give you an, an, an idea, sort of a hint of why uh, science now believes that this tendency to explain things is ingrained. Okay, this in us tendency to is uh, is ingrained in us, and that's the third part of my book. All is right. I identified, okay, a tendency in myself. Yes. Of forming what is called gambler sticks. Gambler's ticks? Yes, yeah. in the sense that, uh, and I explained it here in the 80s one day, I was taking a cab to... Uh, um, 74th and 3rd. Beginner, beginner, uh, I was a beginner... Uh, trader. Beginner trader. Yeah. I took a cab from 74th and uh, uh, 3rd to, uh, to 53rd Street, where St. First Patrick. Boston, yeah. yes, First Boston was yeah. located. The cab driver right stopped on 52nd. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And, mm. and there were two entrances to the building. Yeah. I took the 52nd Street entrance. I yeah. had a huge day. Yeah. Now the next day, biggest day you'd ever had, up till then. And okay. did you count that for the cab driver? Did that? Uh, the next that day, <laughs> which entrance do you think I took? <laughs> the same entrance. The yeah. same entrance. See, that's now, like yeah, hold now, your fingers crossed. Okay, now, okay, hold now. your tongue right. All right. This is the formation of gambler sticks. Yeah. In my choice of ties. I yeah. wore ties at a time. Same, now I, same I coffee stain. Same tie, and it had coffee stain, and <laughs> wore the same tie. And you okay. like coffee too much, huh? Exactly. Yeah. So here I have to say that that formation, uh, there's also, if I see a lucky penny and stuff, yeah. you have this idea of navigating. Mm. Now, Skinner. Mm -hmm. B.S. Skinner? B.S. Skinner. Yeah. Uh, 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 that was not his intention, mm. but, but, but discovered something. And, mm. and that's uh, discussed in Dawkins in, late, in his latest book, but discussed yeah. by a lot of uh, uh, in literature. is well known. Mm -hmm. If you put pigeons in a box, mm and feed them at random, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. complete random, yeah. okay, no uh, logic to the sequence. Mm -hmm. If the pigeon is standing, say, on the left foot mm -hmm. when it's fed, mm -hmm. it will immediately link mm -hmm. the feed the with the left the foot. Feet with the left foot they do. And it will they start can. developing dances, it's very sophisticated. Behavioralistic, yeah. Oh, did uh, yeah. Very sophisticated dances, right? right. Mm -hmm. So you you, you, you got to think of the formation of superstitions. Yes, right, being. absolutely. If someone scratched his nose, started yes, raining. Yes, right, okay. absolutely. What do you think all those shamans were doing over the, the so, so the formation, yeah. okay. Mm. So we are not mm -hmm. made, we have an ingrained statistical machinery mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. says, well, there's a link because I found a lot of pennies mm -hmm. on Wednesday and mm -hmm. I had a good day on Wednesday, yeah. and therefore the link between number of pennies. There's a link between things. So yeah. I, I'm not going to blame the journalist <coughs> for <coughs> making relationships based uh -huh. on something or someone to interpret. It's we are made mm -hmm. to refuse mm -hmm. to accept that something can be random. Uh -huh. We're not made to accept randomness. Well, yeah, we're trying to move The pigeon will not accept yeah. randomness. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. The pigeon will not accept randomness. Is that in the case of the evolution of consciousness? Or is there some purpose or is there some direction I, I'm not, toward I'm, consci I, I, that conscious I have evolution not, itself I'm, I did myself a favor. I did myself a favor you very did. early on. What's that? I never, 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 never got involved Deal in problems. With consciousness. No, no, in problems too far away from my home base. Well, well. So uh, getting into consciousness mm. was, was physics is simple because the equation of the physics are identical to the equation we use in finance. The heat diffusion equation in physics. But identical you understand, to one from a systems perspective, the Buddhists have been telling us forever and ever, and it's an, it's a truism, is that there are no academic disciplines in reality. It is a seamless web, whether or not you want to get close to an, away from home base or not. It is a seamless web, and in a systems way, you'll be introduced into new how things interrelate in a way, even though you want to specialize yourself out it away is, from right. comprehensive. What you want is to have a comprehensive an understanding of what's going on as possible yes. in order to deal with things in an effective intellectual way. No. You're right, mm. but but I I'm 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 sort of like I'm a trader. At the end of the day, I want to break everything down into something very simple I could trade on. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Right. So I, I at the end I like to write books by chapter, chapter by chapter. Yeah, so right. So I'm not looking for some holistic interpretation of the You're world. You're not. No, no okay. I, I I've never. I mean, mm. consciousness. I've read Damasio's book. Mm -hmm. Interesting, great. We mm. know the mind-body problem is is mm. not. There's no mind-body problem. Mm. Stop right then, and that was it. But mm. it doesn't. Uh, you know, I I have a. 
I have an agenda, and my agenda yeah. it doesn't include uh, reflection. All right. You know, oh, that's comes right. Most one people thing don't. I mean, very few people think comprehensively. It's very no, rare. I, 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 because, first of all, it's thought to be absurd to think that because there's so much more to know, and everything's so specialized. Everybody's getting you're specialized. Right. I, I, you have to They're be all very getting specialized. specialized. And comprehensive, uh, Fuller was a comprehensive. He said, dare to be a comprehensive, but it seems crazy. Because there's so much information, we're learning so much more all the time. Now, now everybody's we're, becoming a specialist. Yeah, with, with the increase in information, we have to know more and more about oh. something, get narrow, deep and deep, deep into something so well, narrow they end up. do, but yeah. somebody ought to be stepping well, back and they looking they at the up, patterns they and the experts. Let me tell you that we end up knowing nothing. Uh, about uh, everything. everything about nothing, right? <laughs> everything about nothing yeah, okay. and nothing about everything. Yeah. You're right. Now, yeah. going to patterns. It's okay. an interesting time okay. now. After 200,000 years of human evolution, we're yes. at a time of some sort of perhaps qualitative transformation. You know, do you realize we have the ch opportunity now? Yeah. As we're juggling, we have the opportunity, first time, last 20 years or so, where with the weapons of destruction, part of conscience, we can destroy the species. One person yeah, could do it. To, to be, to be now honest, that's really weird. To be honest, because we've been two hundred, okay. ten thousand generations. We have to been be honest. To do I'm that. not thinking about that problem for mm. one simple reason. Mm. All right, I can't. I can do nothing about it. Well, it won't help me trade. And 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 if the species destroyed, I'd be gone anyway. So to I me, see. it's n it's not something that's on my mind. Mm. I'm much more concentrated no, there would be on, no on point Friday. Okay? No, no. I was just trying to say so that this okay it doesn't translate into a trading strategy for Friday, you don't think nor so? something. You don't think so? And I have a class tonight, so it doesn't translate oh, dear, into something yeah, I can yeah. integrate. Okay, okay. But it's very interesting. Mm. But I. But you are, okay, stick to the business at hand. All right. No, yeah. no, no. I'm no. sticking only to one very narrow problem. All right. right? What, and that's what an randomness enough. I can understand right. and control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I believe that the world may go topsy turvy. I'm going to tell you more about pattern mm -hmm. and, and why I believe the world is going to, towards more instability. Maybe more not that far. Instability. instability. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the this same is same. No, go ahead. Okay. Right. There, we have a bias mm -hmm. that. Uh, uh, randomness does not necessarily look random. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that okay. guy walking out of the building looked the same as the dentist, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You can have, mm -hmm. and then also you can have, if you have, uh, uh, okay, I, I use the example of dots. If you have a, you put, you, t you take a, uh, uh, a screen mm -hmm. and you break it up in eight, uh, uh, in eight squares, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. And you randomly shoot arrows at it, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. What is the probability, do you think, of getting when you think the most likely scenario, you would think that the probability of getting one arrow per one dot, you know, one arrow per uh, per dot. Yeah. What's yeah. that probability? I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't paid any attention to Very it. Very low. You have probably yeah. being hit by truck yeah. is, 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 is is better. Yeah. What you're likely to get mm -hmm. is clusters. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. So when you we, your tend will tend to see a pattern mm -hmm. of, of some spot. Mm -hmm. Now this is when you look at a map and look mm -hmm. at cancer distribution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are likely to see cancer uh, uh, cancer clusters of out of randomness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. Needless to say, lawyers They'll don't stand. understand it yeah. because randomness, study of randomness, has not entered the legal system yet. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. We know that from the O.J. Simpson trial. E oh, okay. interesting. Okay. On that uh, later. Yeah. But yeah. randomness, so very frequently, you may see pa weather or randomness mm -hmm. will create a pattern. Mm -hmm. Randomness can do two things. Random it can create, create a, a pattern, pattern well, or pattern not pattern recognition. So a lot of the things yeah. that we believe mm -hmm. come from pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay, All maybe right. entirely fortuitous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so we have an overstatement mm -hmm. of patterns, yeah. an overestimation of, of their occurrence, mm -hmm. an underestimation of randomness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is why when yeah. someone trades on a pattern, mm -hmm. we tend to take the other side because we do not truly believe. We believe that two things either mm -hmm. he's right, mm -hmm. he or she. They're right, mm, some and there is a pattern, mm -hmm. and in which case, anyway, they think there is one. There's and then they'd like to get a formula to get, they'd like to get a formula to take advantage Or there's none, in which case we win. So yeah. either we break even or we win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, we try to identify. So try among these in. pattern mm. is a sense that history has some order and stuff like that. Yeah, I th do you so think it, it do? could be, no, it could you be that history has a, uh, it could come mm. out of randomness, that mm. we have survived the Second World War, then wrecked the universe, the Western civilization didn't go down. Or maybe meant to, first and second. Or maybe meant to, were to, were to, were to entropy and destroy our species. Maybe so that's meant in terms of the broader evolution of universal consciousness. I it may be that that's, what's in the, that's what it was meant to be. It may be. Yeah. Uh, or it might be okay. that we're... One thing we're I'm going to say about entropy is that an increase in entropy yeah. will uh, give you unavoidably an increase in false patterns. Mm -hmm. Okay. The incidence yeah. of false patterns yeah. okay, th mm -hmm. th that you have from an increase in entropy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we know that we are leading to an increase in entropy, of entropy, from mm -hmm. an increase of, uh, 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 of randomness. Mm -hmm. And you know, in finance, we use something simple, it's called the diffusion equation, which mm -hmm. is identical to heat diffusion. Yeah. And the more you go in, uh, forward, the yeah. more 
uh, uh, things okay. uh, uh, move. Yes. Well, it tell the time. It isn't enough time. We could talk for 16 yes. hours easy and that sort of thing. But the thing is, uh, if, you, if you have probability and you have the ability of the human mind to be able to focus upon something, let's just say something like the market. Yes. And so uh, there can be advantages gained by understanding probability or understanding the okay. trending of the advantage and also by the using of new information and we've got these new yeah, super computing yeah. capabilities okay. to get greater and greater amounts of information put into some sort of a theory that gives you a better advantage in terms of understanding the way in which the market's going to go. Okay, that I'm could be uh, particularly advantageous to one okay. particular fund over another or something. And How far can we get towards getting a jump on getting advantage to understanding comprehensively the way the market's okay. going to go? I'm going to shock you with my answer. Okay. okay. My answer is that if anything, mm -hmm. okay, it will lead us to move away from the market betting. Really? Uh, and, and, and you mean the more we understand it? B the, the more, more information we, the, the we world, have? The more, uh, of course, because mm. it's, very it w it's becoming more and more difficult mm -hmm. to, uh, 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 for us to understand the market. Really? I mean, I, in my idea is most of what's going on on Wall Street about this mm. buying stocks yeah. is, to me is nonsense. Really? For several reasons. Mm -hmm. The first one, we use something called survivorship bias analysis of history. You're saying that you're going to have your stockbroker mm -hmm. schlep stocks at, mm -hmm. at you mm -hmm. because he They or do she it endlessly on television now. Yeah. They're all going to tell you that you make money every 10-year period yeah. or something like that. Yeah. If you yeah. invested a dollar in 1871, yeah, you would right. own uh, the, the, I don't know, the Canary Islands. Yeah. Uh, oh. You're going to give you stories, whatever it is. Okay. So now it, it is, mm. you know... It's uh, marketing. Uh, okay. It is marketing. Mm. But one thing they're going to give you about the way they compute the odds about yeah. Okay, or misplaced sophistication, mm -hmm. is that they do not understand mm -hmm. is that if you were standing mm -hmm. at the turn of the century mm -hmm. looking at all these this family of investments, yeah. okay, you would have invested in Imperial Russia. Yes. That was, okay. You yeah. would have invested in Argentina. Mm -hmm. It was the country of the future. Yeah, okay? absolutely. Yeah. You would have invested in, f in France, mm -hmm. in f French bonds or mm -hmm. French stock, but French mm -hmm. bonds. Mm -hmm. You would have invested in German bonds. Mm -hmm. You would have invested in the uh, 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 in United States. On the basis of Canada, available okay. projections. Now, of all of these, yeah. all right, the stock markets that fared well mm -hmm. are the, the Anglo-Saxon stock market uh -huh, uh -huh. only. Uh -huh. If you invested in German bonds, you know what would happen with hyperinflation or uh -huh. German stocks. You know They're what happened terrible to Germany what happened in the Weimar, okay. yeah. Okay. In Russia, you would own wallpaper because yeah. the stocks, you know what happened. You had a revolution. That you had a, you'd that's be an unforeseen right. thing. The you would own something that could, you could sell probably in, uh, in, uh, in London. And, mm. and, you know, on Saturday, you could sell for five, five pounds. You yeah, know, yeah. A nice certificate. Yeah, People yeah, use yeah. it, frame it. So yeah. that, but you, you really, mm. you would have lost your investment. And the same applies for now, if we were to look at things now no, and try to make The problem is that you're going to have some... Uh, 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 self-serving uh, 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 bull market uh, uh, nonsense, you know, fitting or explanation. Bear market, We're going to explain. Yeah. No, no. We're going to explain to you that if you bought stocks, mm -hmm. you would have gotten rich. All mm -hmm. right. Now the reasoning is that you have to go back. Now that method mm -hmm. is called uh, uh, taking into account biases mm -hmm. in the way people compute probabilities. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sophistication and understanding the stock market doesn't necessarily make you wiser. What you have to understand about probability that yeah. the most important step mm -hmm. okay is is to be conscious uh, okay, yes well i'd like conscious yes of the conscious existence and of alternative outcomes yes right 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 that right. when you invest and in be stocks, open to that be open okay, to that yeah and be open to that mm. so this mm. is why i don't buy the stock market mm -hmm. there are other reasons as well i don't like mm -hmm. the stock market mm -hmm. i don't like it because we have had a rally in stocks in the United States since 1982. Incredible, over the 90s. Since 1982, which yeah. continues. Yeah. Uh, okay, since yeah, 1982, yeah. all right. And Mr. Yeah. Rukeyser, every Friday, will tell us, just stay there, okay. stay the and course, a thousand you, points of course, you, and, and then people will see pattern. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to tell you have expansion, mm. so on, new mm. economy, people yeah. bought the article. People are going to fit, fit explanations. Mm -hmm. And but I think it's a random thing, mm -hmm. probably some self-feeding features. Mm -hmm. And I believe that people who should put their money, if they're dentists, they should drill teeth, mm -hmm. you know, and probably go to Las Vegas. At least in Las mm -hmm. Vegas, you know. Yeah, yeah you know you what's know happening. The odds. You yeah. know the odds, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. in stocks. Mm -hmm. The dentist should drill teeth and go to Las Vegas, yeah. all right, or probably do something like yeah. helicopter skiing, something to get it. Now, you are uh, a yeah. trader and you have a fund, and you do yeah. You're I in the business. You do this. You're in the business. Yeah. And uh, on, uh, I see in the book you have some chagrin for a lot of the people that are in the business. But you have a great respect for George Soros. I have immense respect for him. Respect, and yeah. he was uh, almost singled out in a certain sense. Because Even though he's been doing the currency trading and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And he, what, what's the difference between him I, and what's the pattern of leadership, of okay. financial leadership, 
that he would represent that there should be perhaps more of in terms of the financial world? And then also this question of risk taking and the taking okay, of balance. The, Does this lap over, the probability lap over, away from the financial decision making and that sort of thing into the realm of politics and political leadership? I, politics, I never think of politics, so that's already out of my life. But, but they but are let me talk about Soros. Yeah, they are interconnected. They're inter yeah, but I, I never go and up. Mr. Soros has a great sense about what the world politics are about. I, I don't, look, I don't read a word of what George Soros does outside his method of trading. But let me tell you why I respect him. He's been very successful. Let me tell you what I respect about him. Yeah, we only got about 10 I, minutes I respect, left. What I respect about Soros, mm -hmm. principally, is that the man starts with a position of accepting his fallibility. Mm -hmm. Accepting, I mean, when you deal with a, a problem outcome, you have to accept ignorance, okay, and start, plead ignorance and start, work backwards. So, That's probably a good when, general and, and proposition. One thing yeah. I learned from him in the face of the universe is pretty big. I, mm. I believe that we're a bunch of human beings mm -hmm. with very poor genes, mm -hmm. unfit for this poor environment. Genes. Yeah, we're not made for this environment. We're irrational. How many people know that, that, that uh, of the smokers know uh, we have one third of the population smokes, and they all know it? One third, I know, it, whether or not it's one third. It's, it's irrelevant, but how many of them don't know that smoking causes cancer? Mm -hmm. Well, right. less, m most people know that now. And they they, still know, they know it. Reasons. They still smoke. So visibly, reasons, we yeah. are mm. not made to be a rational human no, being. Not Soros knows it. Proof Hold that on. We're Soros knows mm. he is not an infallible person. Well, we're not. He's fallible and works yeah. backwards. Maybe we're working toward it, you know. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so he mm. works backwards. So mm. one thing I learned from him, one and only one thing mm. I learned from him is to look at your weaknesses yeah. and say, okay, we're a bunch of, let me r restart, genetically unfit people, incapable of digesting information. For reasons technical in the book, I see the scaling of information, but incapable of accepting and, and digesting information, incapable of making naturally right inferences. Incapable. These are huge assumptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, tell you myself, if I think that parking my car here yeah. will make me money, yeah. all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, and and I'm someone who does computer mm. probability for a living, yeah, all right? Yeah. And I'll tell you my weaknesses, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. therefore, oh, we're not making. So yeah. we are not that hugely sophisticated machine. Mm -hmm. If you accept that, mm -hmm. okay, if you deep down say, overcome your ego to accepting your weaknesses, yeah. all right, you're going to do very well in the market. You really, you think? Yes. Yeah, you think so, but yes. that is the, that is That's how Soros operates. This yeah. is why the guy is fallible. He accepts, he said, I made a mistake. Yeah, but he haven't there been a lot of people like that that tried and didn't succeed? I mean, for every That's success. That's fine. That is I fine. I mean, Frank it's talks about a winner-take-all society. We hear about the ones who won, but what about all the people who've lost? Yeah, but you the thing is, some people, some people are more convincing in their victories because Soros, unlike some person who bought a stock and then the stock rallied 10,000% and yeah. then now he has a big swimming pool. Mm. Soros traded long and short across mm -hmm. a variety of markets. Lost a billion dollars in one day. I understand, but one he made time. billion yes. dollars other I days. Know, yeah. He had, he had his, um, his, uh, he is more statistically significant mm -hmm. and, and if you use what I call the survivorship bias, which means mm -hmm. if you put a lot of monkeys on top right or some yeah. of them will Produce the, the, the Odyssey. When he started trading, there were not that many monkeys. What are they going to do? The Iliad or the Odyssey? Uh, uh, <laughs> unspecified. I'm they kidding. Made I'm kidding. Something. Okay. They, uh, you have Soros. There were not a lot of monkeys on the mm. typewriter then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, since then, you had more monkeys yeah, on the yeah, typewriter. So yeah. you can't ac accuse him of it. Mm. So this is why I have a lot more respect for him than others. Plus, he believes in the philosophy of Karl Popper. How about open society, yeah. And, 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 and open mind really, and, yeah, open yeah. and revising his open. opinions very well, quickly. Well, that's synergy. The behavior of systems, unpredictable. Others, you have to be open to a system I, I where you I still don't see the link to synergy, well, but okay. let's, let's, let's just say it's, it's the way he accepts okay, his fallibility mm -hmm. and, and revises his mind very quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and I find that very commendable. I wish I could do that. Yeah. I can't. I wish our political leadership could. Oh, the po oh, politicians the are not less... Uh, the mm. politicians, I don't understand why well, anybody pays attention to politicians. They're not... Uh, uh, I mean... Uh, if <laughs> well, I, are you taking heart? <laughs> David Corton says the corporations are ruling the world now. David Corton says that the corporations right. are becoming into multinational corporations. The corporations, the yes. finances, yeah. the electronic herd, the people that the fund managers and that sort of thing yeah. are now running the world. And the political entities, the states have nothing much to say about it because there's no international agency to regulate yeah. or anything like that. And it's those guys that are running the world. So it's yes. the guys that are involved with the funds and so forth that are running the world. So we're, they're superseding. Uh, these okay. outdated politicians you're giving and too the much economists credit. and you the financial guys are the ones Harold, who are running the world giving, and they should be. Harold, you're giving too much credit to these corporations. You think so? Yeah. But, but they, they have, have a great deal things. of power. Okay. You had two types of and people running growing. corporations. You had the incompetent person who got there out of luck mm -hmm. because, uh, uh, you know, he s supposedly made the right decision and then their sales doubled. We don't know. There's no controlled experiments whether the sale wouldn't have doubled anyway. Yeah. Okay. 
I wonder about the guys who keep getting big monies when okay. the stocks go down. So this is mm. this is sort of like the yeah, inference. and it's tremendous compensation. Yeah, and the money is a health. Okay, so mm. the corporation. And so much money is going to those people. I mean, in terms of so you're giving count. too much credit to co corporation, and then you have the genuine, mm -hmm. okay, uh, 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 brainy person running the corporation. But uh, 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 let me. Mm. I've worked in corporations. Yeah. I worked for eight banks. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. so seven banks. Big banks. And I worked yeah. with a lot of banks. Yeah. Do not. And you understand uh, derivatives. You know, yeah. Believe me, corporations. Mm. All right. Don't give them too much credit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. And then okay. we know uh, the no, fragility of the system. They got power now. What power? No power to go in and out, take money in and out. Okay. They're, they're the they're ones they're that all the countries are. And the give, emerging you, you markets. You think they can use anything? The smart to use it. Well, you I wonder. Smart should they it. be just given control over them? Why do we have to worry about all these social concerns and things that politicians are involved with? I much less okay. intellectuals. Let, let or, me tell you. Okay. know, that kind of thing. Just let the guys that have the money run the world. I'm going to go a little outside of my, my probability mm. uh, topic, which I very, 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 very rarely do, mm. to tell you something about corporations, why they've been getting uh, bigger and mm. fewer, mm. okay, yeah, through mergers and acquisitions. Mergers and acquisitions. Now, are very we know very well in finance there's something called the hubris hypothesis. A hubris hypothesis, okay, which, yes. uh, by Richard Lord Gold, Acton said by power Richard tends Gold, to corrupt, which, yeah. Which has been verified mm. throughout no. history. Mm -hmm. In, in, in financial uh, empiricism, mm -hmm. and you test the result of a merger, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and, and 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 you would think that a merger would lead to any gain yeah. in, in the efficiency and intelligence of the organization. Mm -hmm. In fact, it does not. It there does are no not. gains. From, no, they no. pay up for a company out mm -hmm. of ego mm -hmm. and hubris because they want to own the world. Yeah. They buy each other, then have to lay off employees, and they lose their edge and mm -hmm. become a dinosaur. Yeah. So the cycle of corporation. Corporations are self-destructive, like mm. J.P. Morgan buying Chase, and then mm. they have to fire the employees yeah. uh, three times in a row. Yeah, or Lord uh, Keynes warned against the fact that we're going to have mass unemployment long about now. He wrote to his grandchildren in 1930 that yeah. the technology is going to displace human labor, intellectual and physical input to production, and uh, we distribute I, all the income to the mass of people through job roles and labor. I, I mean, Lord Keynes theory. had great ideas. I don't know if that one was, uh, was uh, I haven't verified. I'm, I'm an empiricist. I'm very narrow-minded on mm -hmm. things I can verify, mm -hmm. so I can't follow. Well, I hate to bring up these other things from time to time. No, no, it's, it's fine. Yeah. I can't, I, I, I'll, I'll uh, yeah. Um, no. the, okay, the... Uh, uh, you optimistic for the human prospect? No, not too much. No, you're not. No. You're pessimistic. Yes, because I think as the world is gaining in complexity, uh, more and more wrong things can take place that mm -hmm. have not happened before. Yeah. More and more uh, trade center, more mm -hmm. and more things. Yeah. So we are getting, I mean, my... And, my and, yeah. and the ability to rack, wreak havoc is so much greater now. We can this destroy the species. Couldn't this do it in true. the Second World War. Couldn't no. do it in Korea. Couldn't do it in Vietnam. We can now. And it's they're scary. juggling <laughs> these things around, you know, like that. I mean, what I'm trying to say, there might be an adverse side to that. Do you think we're at a time of maybe qualitative transformation of some sort? There was consciousness before there was Homo sapiens sapiens 200,000 years ago, there yeah. was Australopithecine, and there will be perhaps in the evolution of things that we will reach a point where we are going to say if our genes are inadequate, that we will reach a point with collective uh, technological capability, something, we will reach a point where we will be transcended to the context within which the human environment has evolved. It's like we're in the womb. I, I, We've been evolving. Me, but I think you're right. And that synergy is if you're in the womb and you're coming into a new transposed con 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 you cannot know what's outside okay. the womb. That's synergy. I, I, and that I, we may be into do and that's a certain kind of uncertainty. And universal mind is a priori mysterious. I mean, within that context. That, I mean, are you optimistic in that sense we may be at a liberating context or I, something? No, I, off I am uh, uh, pessimistic. You are. I, I am pessimistic, pessimistic in the maximal pattern of where you think we might pessimism I, in the pessimistic maximum because says more we could wipe out the species. No, pessimistic because, in, as a general, as a general, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, thing, as, as entropy is increasing, more and more wrong things can take place. Mm -hmm. But it maybe 150,000 years ago, you didn't have that many bad things that could have happened. That's right. Or well, not by even us. 20 years ago. Caused by us. 50 now, years ago, it was, now it was you can modified. We were impotent in terms and, of where we are now. But is there an adverse side to the destructive pattern, which might be something like what might be seen throughout the ages as liberal? James Joyce, my favorite yeah. poet. I know you don't like James Joyce. How my do you favorite, know? Well, because I read in your biography. Oh. You didn't like James Joyce. Ulysses, he had Daedalus say, history is a nightmare from which I'm attempting to awaken and it might be that we're awakening from a nightmare of scarcity-laden institutions where there wasn't enough. We have the ability to take care of things and liberate the human spirit within an ecological context in which not available to us over the long haul. So it might be at a positive time. 
that we begin to look ahead in a maximum pattern. But I don't know. That's just a bias of mine. Uh, no, two things. One is but we I don't got like about 20 seconds left. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I, uh, uh, James Joyce interpreters I don't like. Mm. The second point is that I would be very careful about any statement made about anything related to history, uh -huh. because history you can say about anything about history. Yeah. Okay. And nobody could verify your claim. Yeah, you're right. Because you can't backtest it. That's right. You can't. You can't. You can't, can't, re it. You can't reverse engineer no. history.